Disney makes another diversity hire and puts her in charge of directing another Star Wars movie. Oh my gosh. This franchise isn't even on life support at this point. They killed it, dug it out of its grave, and they're trying to do some kind of Frankenstein crap to it. I swear, it's like they're in full-blown masochism mode at this point. Okay, I gotta tell you, I'm not even a Star Wars nerd, okay? I don't know enough about the universe to pick it apart limb from limb like Mahler. His videos are fantastic, by the way. But I know enough about it that when I watch The Force Awakens, The Last Jedi, and The Rise of Skywalker, I realized just how much they did not care about the source material. The characters sucked. The plots made no sense. Somehow Palpatine returned. Somehow Palpatine returned. And that it was money and time that I'm never going to get back. Let's jump back in time just really quick to another Disney project that was directed by a woman about women and it was so good because it was about women directed by a woman. You guys remember the Marvels? <laughs> no, of course you don't because no one watched it. <laughs> Apparently, the goal of the director, Nia DaCosta, was to give fans an hour and 45 minutes of this. <laughs> no one even wanted the six seconds of the scene. Why on earth would you green light an hour and 45 minutes? Of this. How long will you play Captain Marvel for? No, no, no. I don't know. Does anyone want me to do it again? <laughs> no. <laughs> See, when you prioritize things like blurred girl energy, oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Black girl magic! When you prioritize a team of women fighting another woman, ooh, <laughs> ah. Okay, well, thank God it was against a woman because we know that this movie would not have been an hour and 45 minutes if they had fought a man. <laughs> when you prioritize gender over story, you end up with no one wanting to watch it. Focus on good stories and good strong characters like Arcane, and you're going to get a very different result. Look at The Hunger Games. Hannah, season one. Freaking Mulan, hello? People may disagree with me on this one, but even Wonder Woman. But Disney said, nah. -uh. Lesson not learned from the Marvels. They did this instead. Yo, what the? They did this instead. They're making a movie about a woman, directed by a woman, again. And that's why it's gonna be good. Forget that Rey is a totally uninteresting character because she can just do everything. And, and not to mention, better and faster than any of the Jedi before her. She can even fly a ship that she's never flown before and pull off this move. Okay, I know Jedi are strong, but I've never seen them do something like this. I definitely know this never happened before. Which may have had an impact on, like, a lot of things, like Padme dying, maybe even this too? You know, I'm very thrilled about the project because I think um, what we are about to create is something very special. And we're in 2024 now, and I think uh, it's about time that we had a woman uh, come forward uh, to shape the story in a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> That's right, you stupid Neanderthals. We're in 2024. It is about time we had a woman come forward to shape a story in a galaxy far, far away. Okay, but... Um, women have already been doing that, though. Kathleen freaking Kennedy? 
And then Bryce Dallas Howard, Deborah Chow, and Steph Green have all directed Star Wars shows. So other than her having brown skin and lady bits, why should we watch this film? Will there be a story? Will there be some characters with at least some depth for Pete's sake? Both men and women love the old Star Wars because even though it takes place in a galaxy far, far away with aliens, the Force, and whatever this thing is, <laughs> because at least on the human level, they can relate to them. The characters weren't these untouchable, naturally amazing, never morally struggling, can just do everything better, faster, stronger than anyone ever before ever. I bypassed the compressor. Oh my gosh. And then of course there was an actual story. Disney's chief executive Bob Iger said he will no longer tolerate his company's partners and creative team prioritizing messaging over storytelling. He says we have to entertain first. It's not about messages. So that was a Lie. Anyways, guys, that's all I have for you. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like this video and subscribe for more videos like this. If you didn't, thank you so much for sticking around and watching to the end. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. I like to make men uncomfortable. I enjoy <laughs> making men uncomfortable. <laughs>